Well, hi everybody. This is Richard from RKA. I don't know when you're going to be looking at this video, but today is June 16th, 2020, and we are in the middle of a pandemic. RKA has repurposed our business and are manufacturing nine clinical masks right now. So if you need some, there's a link on the screen right now that'll tell you where to go to get the best ones ever made. So anyway, the question's been asked, who is RKA? Well, I'm Richard. Kathy, my wife, is Kathy, the K, and the A is for the accessories. And we've been making motorcycle luggage for 35 years. So that kind of answers the question, who is RKA? But we've been selling communication systems almost from the start, and Kathy and I are users. At this point, the only product we're selling is Senna. So when you purchase Senna products from RKA, you get 100% support from Richard, me. If you did not purchase from RKA, then Senna is your support. RKA offers videos like this one, over 175 of them right now, to help you out with any of your application problems. Here is a link to the main RKA YouTube page with all of our videos and help. So, uh, Kathy, I want to demonstrate the audio multitasking and how nice the microphones work. Now, our music is faded into the background. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you think about Dutcher Creek Road? Well, it's just a really pretty stretch uh, of road, which is not unusual in our neck of the woods. Um, it's nicely paved, uh, sweeping turns. It's not very long, but it is uh, a road that goes to somewhere if you keep going past the uh, lake, you end up to the coast, but you have to go through some dirt due to a big landslide uh, on Skag Springs, which is a well-known motorcycle road, but for the last couple of years, we don't have access to it. Yeah, and that's that's really a great description because this is part of our Sonoma County roads right here. It's a like a network of just beautiful, beautiful roads. When we get down to the bottom of this stop sign down at the bottom here, if we go to the right, we will go out to the dam and the hatchery at Lake Sonoma, and then uh, we would go out Stewart's Point Road. Let me start right from the beginning like you never had a Bluetooth system before. Some of the most asked questions when I speak with riders are, will this unit connect to my motorcycle system? Can I hear my GPS while in a conversation? Can my passenger listen to their own music and make their own phone calls? Can I charge the unit while using it? Yes to all of the above. Can I connect to another brand system? Yeah, kind of. Most all the new systems are universal intercom, but uh, it's not really the best thing to do. If you have Senna, stick with Senna, but don't mix and match manufacturers. So the other thing is, is how many riders can I connect to? The 10 series can connect to four riders. The 20 series can connect to eight riders. The 30K series can connect to four riders via Bluetooth or an unlimited amount with open mesh or 16 riders in a private mesh. The new 50 series can connect to four riders via Bluetooth or connect unlimited amount of riders in open mesh or 24 riders in private mesh. So distance is the next question. 1.2 
miles is the maximum range. I tell all of my customers, if you can get three quarters of a mile, you're doing really, really good. Because it's all open terrain and there's usually always something in the way of your direct line of sight. Does the intercom use one of the Bluetooth profiles? No, it does not. Does the remote control connection use one of the Bluetooth connections? No, it does not. How long do the batteries last? That's a good question. The 50S, 14 hours, 9 hours on mesh. The 50R, 13 hours, and 8 hours on mesh. The 50 series also has a fast charging mode. Full charge, 1 hour. But with a 20 minute charge, you can get 3.5 hours of mesh and 6 hours of Bluetooth. The 50R and 50S are pretty much the same. They attach to your helmet differently and have different function buttons. All centers turn off and on pretty much the same way. The 50S series, you press the phone button and the dial jog dial button at the same time. That starts it up and turns it off. With the 50R, you press the center button and the plus button and that turns them off and turns them on. So learn where all these buttons are. Learn where the phone button is, learn where the jog button is, learn where the mesh button is, and learn where the ambient button is on the 50S. Learn what a tap is or a press and hold. Learn what rotate or rotating while pressing means. On the 50S, learn what the difference is between the earbud port and the media port. They are different. Kind of an interesting note on the antennas. The 50S antenna pulls out to open the 50R antenna pushes in to open. Just a little note so you're aware of what's going on. And learn what the difference is between the boom mic, the wired boom mic, and the wired mic. The wired mic is for a full face helmet and should really never be used on a modular helmet because it's really going to get hung up in the mechanism and break at some point. What is the difference between a voice prompt and a voice command? A voice prompt is a voice coming from the unit giving you information. A voice command is a command that you tell the unit to do something. The apps, device manager, are really, really important. So be sure and download the app to your phone and download the device manager to your computer. So firmware updates, why are they important? Number one, they do not print out the manual anymore. The manual is uh, downloaded and it's always updated and that's why it's not printed anymore because things change. When you get a firmware update, that's like getting a brand new unit. So it's always good to be ready for your firmware updates and update them and use the device manager. The 50R and 50S also have cables that Wi-Fi to your system in your home and allow that system to update while you're sleeping. So one of the big questions is, will it connect to my motorcycle? Since the beginning, all Senna units have had the very same five profiles. So you have phone profile, second mobile phone profile, GPS profile, phone selective profile, and audio or media selective profile. Some of the R and S series controls are in different locations, but generally all Senna systems work exactly the same and do the same thing. So from the beginning, the 10 series had a phone button and the jog button. Then when the 20S came in, it had a phone button, a jog button, and an ambient button. And then the 30K came in and it had the phone button, jog button, ambient button, and they added a mesh button. Now the 50 comes in and it's got all of those buttons also. The R does not have an ambient button because it's not on a cradle. So here are some things you may not be familiar with, even if you are a Senna user, what I would call a traditional user. So to start off with, the plugs are different. That really surprised me. And it comes with two cables. One is for charging and one is for the Wi-Fi connection. So now on the 50 series, the hands-free works differently in a really good way. The old way was, hello, Senna. Senna says, say a command. You say, check battery. Senna says, battery level is high. The new way, you just say, hey, Senna, check battery. Battery level is high. Kind of leaves out the middleman on that one, doesn't it? The speakers. The speakers are just fantastic. Um, let me quote what they said here. Senna says, optimized in both size and sound with a volume 7% louder than previous models. 
I say it's a lot more than that. I am deaf in one ear and can't hear out of the other and I have to use earbuds when I'm out on the interstate. Now I do not have to. The sound is right there and it's wonderful. Audio multitasking on the 50s. In the mesh mode, the auto audio multitasking works perfect and automatically. If you want to use audio multitasking in the Bluetooth mode, you have to go in the app and start it up, restart your headset, and then it'll work. It's a little bit more complicated in the Bluetooth mode than it used to be. They have an audio equalizer. Now, this is not going to make your headset into a gazillion dollar boys system, but it will give you some choices and you might like the sound a little bit better. Uh, I always like bass. And that's what the old equalizer was. It was just bass on or off, which basically treble and bass. Now they've added up a mid-range to tone, and uh, that works really good too. Smart volume control. Enabling smart volume control allows the unit to automatically change the level of the music volume, whether you're going fast or whether you're going slow. Music sharing. Now, music sharing would not work with Kathy and I because I like ZZ Top and she likes Yo-Yo Mon, so that's not going to work. But you might want to listen to an audio book or if you like the same music or want to listen to the same thing. Uh, on the uh, Bluetooth mode, you just hold in the jog button for three seconds while you're in an intercom conversation. The voice prompt will say, music sharing on. So on the mess side, it's a little bit different. You hold the button in for three seconds and then a voice prompt will say, would you like to accept music sharing? And the participant, your passenger, would press the mesh button and then the prompt will say music sharing on. Jog dial tip. The 50S, it's much easier to use the jog dial if you use your thumb and just roll it on the bottom rather than try to grab it. It's butted up pretty close to the bodywork on the unit, so it's a little bit hard to do that, easier to do that. So the coolest new features are the voice commands. You can use, hey Siri, or you can say, hey Google, or you can use all of the Senna commands, which is really cool. Hey Siri. Call Kathy Mobile. Hey, are you still at home? Yeah. Would you go out on my bicycle and get my mask? It's in my bento box. It's my favorite one. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in, a little, see you in a little bit, okay? Bye. Bye. So with the Hey Cinna commands, it makes the unit almost totally hands-free. You, uh, the old way, you used to say, hello Cinna. Cinna would say, say a command. You would say, check battery. Cinna would say, battery level is high. With the new commands, you just say the command all the way through. Hey Cinna, check battery. She says, battery level is high. So it makes it a lot easier. And here's a little clip uh, of one of my previous videos demonstrating the volume up and volume down. Hey, Senna, volume down. Hey, Senna, volume down. Hey, Senna, volume up. Hey Senna, volume up. Hey Senna, volume up. Hey, Turn left Senna, on South Overdale up. Boulevard. Hey Senna, check battery. Check battery. Battery level is high. Hey Senna, mesh on. Mesh intercom on. Open mesh. Channel 1 Hey Senna, mesh off Mesh intercom off 
turn left on Santana Drive, then turn right to US 101 South. Turn right to US 101 South. So pairing the phone, there's a lot of different ways to do it now, and they're all really simple. So the first thing you can do is just say, hey, Senna, phone pairing. Your phone is being paired. Or if the unit's off, you can hold in the phone and jog dial for three seconds or until she says phone pairing. And then the other way is to go to the configuration menu. Hold the center button in on the R or the jog button in on the S until you hear configuration menu and then you can flip through the different configurations uh, and there's a lot more than just uh, Bluetooth there's a lot of configurations you can set up there so that's a good one to go explore connecting your phone to your devices let's start with the telephone the telephone is the least form of resistant and you're done connect your headset to the phone using phone pairing you're done at that point you have all of your controls, all of your voice commands, all the Senate commands, everything, because you're connected directly to your phone. The second way is to connect your phone and your GPS together. That's also a good way to do it, especially if you want to use your phone for radar and music and want to use your GPS for GPS and fuel stops and motel stops and stuff like that. Works pretty good. So, connect your phone to your headset using phone pairing. Connect your headset to your GPS using second mobile phone pairing or GPS pairing. And then now you have both units connected to your headset. You still have full control over your voice commands on your phone. Now the last way to do it is to connect your phone up to your BMW Bluetooth unit or whatever unit you have. And then connect your headset to your GPS and then connect your phone to your GPS. Now your phone is working through another device and you do not have direct contact to it so you lose those commands for Siri and Google and Senna. Not my favorite way to do it but that's the way the BMW way is. So if you hook your unit up this way you're now using the BMW module Bluetooth which at this time is using 2.0 firmware which the transfer rate is 2.5 gigabits per second. That's dinosaur speed. The new 50S series has 5.0 Bluetooth and that has 48 gigabytes per second transfer rate, which is like a bullet train. So that's your choices. The good news is, is if you do it this way, you can stream your music through the GPS and that means you can use the XM app, or you can do Spotify, or you can do uh, iRadio, iHeartRadio, or whatever you want to do, your MP3 player. And you still have the capability of putting a sand disk inside the GPS and using this for music. So you have music here, music there, music everywhere. And by the way, the Navigator 6 is currently using 3.0 firmware, which is a pretty fast data rate transfer, a lot faster than the BMW module. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and our business has been repurposed to manufacture non-clinical masks. And on the screen right now is a link to that page. Hope to hear from you to buy masks. Hope to hear from you to buy Senna products. And I hope to hear from you to purchase RKA luggage. We're still doing the luggage. It's just a little sluggish right now.